The referee and judges have been set for Canelo vs. Triple G rematch, and Adelaide Bird is not assigned to this fight. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Canelo Triple G 2 rematch is going down. Judgment Day, as I like to call it, September 15th. Also, go to the Box Fan Expo if you'd like to purchase tickets. There's going to be a slew of fighters, former, past, current fighters that are going to be there. You can get tickets from me directly. The link is in the description. Click on the link and purchase as many as you like. I'm an affiliate. Helps the channel. And there's going to be a ton of people. Mikey Garcia, Eric Morales, uh, James, Tony. You never know who's going to pop in. But Nevada State Athletic Commission, they have officially announced and assigned who's going to be working Canelo versus Triple G2. They have Connecticut's Glenn Feldman, Nevada's Dave Moretti, and Steve Weisfeld of New Jersey. So that's going to be working for the three judges in the 12 rounder. It's a middleweight contest for all of Golovkin's belt. He was recently stripped of the IBF. So Daniel Jacobs and Sergei Dervinchenko will later this year fight for that particular belt. I believe they're doing a press conference later this week. And it's going down. But that's who they're picking for the judges. Once again, Glenn Feldman, Dave Moretti, and Steve Weisfeld. And if you watch boxing, you will have heard all of those names before. So Adelaide Bird is not part of this particular equation. And it would create an uproar if she was, which we'll get to that a little bit more. And they also have a referee, Benji Estevez Jr. out of New Jersey for the referee. So... I've watched, obviously, Benji Estevez Jr. fights. I'm trying to think of what he, what major fights he's recently refed. I can't think off the top of my head of, of a fight he recently covered. But I, I don't know. I, I kind of expected, like, Kenny Bayless, Tony Weeks, or something like that. But Kenny Bayless is married to Adelaide Bird, so maybe there's a conflict of interest there. I don't know. But that is the official lineup of Canelo versus Triple G versus the rematch. And the thing is this, we need closure, we need clarification, it's not right, hopefully it's no bullshit in this particular fight. Um, Adelaide Berg created this like frenzy when her scorecard was announced because she had it 118 to 110 in favor of Canelo. Now be clear when I say this, neither fighter deserved 10 rounds apiece, you know what I mean, in that fight. I watched it. I was there. I covered it as media, everything. And at the end of the day, it just, that wasn't that type of fight where either guy clearly won 10 rounds. I don't care. I don't care who you had winning. It just, that didn't, that scorecard was nonsense and it made sense for neither guy. See, a lot of people, they're just looking at it from the Canelo aspect. Oh, Canelo didn't win 10 rounds. Golovkin didn't win 10 rounds. So that scorecard should have never been read for either side. And that's my honest opinion. Um, I guess they were looking at try, trying to get maybe Tony Weeks, but um, Tom Loeffler didn't want Weeks. He objected to Tony Weeks working the fight. You know, I don't know why, but he didn't want him. So they got Benji Estevez. But, like, it, you know, it's weird. It's really weird in boxing. It's like Tom Loeffler didn't want Tony Weeks. Tony Weeks is ref probably arguably some of the the biggest fights or whatever but the thing is it's i always see that there's like complaints about who's refing and stuff and a lot of times it's from the side or the the person who is deemed as like the power puncher and the monster you know what i'm saying it's just I'm, i've always noticed that like sergey kovalev was worried about tony weeks you know what i mean maybe that's why tom loffler because maybe he's of the thinking that Andre Ward was low-blowing Kovalev or something, and that's why 
Kovalev was stopped. I don't know. But Tom Loeffler didn't want Tony Weeks on duty for this, and they didn't use him. So that's cool. Um, but I just noticed it seems like the, the guy who's, who's like the puncher, they seem to have more gripes. The guy who's like the action, you know, the quote unquote Mexican style. It's like they have more gripes and concerns and questions about who's refer refereeing. Meanwhile, the guy who's perceived as like the lesser puncher or the runner or something like that, they're just in there scrapping. And I, I've noticed that in boxing. Like I said, a uh, classic example would be Andre Ward. Andre Ward wasn't like, oh, the ref did this, the judges. He was just in there working. But Kovalev was the one. And now you have Triple G side who are worried about Tony Weeks. And they're like, no, like I get it with the judges because they're the ones scoring the fight. Now, don't get me wrong. The referee does have um, potential to influence the fight. But Triple G is supposed to be a knockout artist. So literally, what is he? What do you? kind of worried about what the referee with the way Golovkin fights, especially if Abel and stuff, they're saying they're looking for a knockout or are going to try to press for a knockout. Um, I don't think Tony Weeks would have done a bad job. Jack Reese, you know what I mean? Just really based on the styles. You know what I mean? But uh, I just I noticed that, especially with Golovkin's side, there's been a lot of um, kind of tantrums and like concern, it seems, like with Canelo's si style and how he plans on fighting and sit there and do what you say and, and don't run and fight Mexican stuff. Man, you can't tell that man how to fight. He's going to fight however he fights. And unless any of us are going to get in the ring, you know what I mean? It, you got to let these fighters fight their, like, you know, so if Abel Sanchez, let, okay, you fight Canelo then, you know what I'm saying? And you force him to fight this same way or you fight Golovkin, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be in there seeing what works and what doesn't. Simple as. If you try something or you feel someone's power and you're like, okay, I can't be in the pocket right now. And then later in the fight, um, you work them, work the body, use the jab, fatigue sets in. And then now you can, you know, the punches aren't as heavy and stuff like that. Then now you, you open up, you know, you just got to feel it. You got to see what goes on. I guess they were looking at having Robert Byrd officiate the fight, and they agreed to it, but the Nevada State Athletic Commission thought it was a conflict of interest, right? And they said, nah, we're not even going to do that. So I think it makes more sense. I mean, it'd be cool for him, but it makes more sense because your wife is tied to that. So it would kind of be a conflict of interest in, in the eyes of some. Especially, see, this is the thing, especially if it doesn't go the way of whoever. So... I think the Nevada State Athletic Commission is kind of right in doing that to eliminate a potential problem, a potential conf conflict of interest. Let me know what you guys think of the lineup. Are you guys good with this? Benji Estevez, he's straight. Um, and then also the judges. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Who's winning this rematch? Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.